Hello, and in this video I'm going to review this mask, which is the Strong STM50G uh, 3B. So not a very memorable name at all, but basically the Strong M50 respirator. And no, not like the Avon M50. So what this is, is it's a domestically designed Chinese mask, and it's actually a good one. Um, which is quite good, because obviously as we've covered with these videos quite a lot of Chinese masks, quality of them is sort of a bit crapshooty. Because uh, so much stuff is produced in China, you get some stuff that's very high in quality, some stuff that's very low in quality, and some stuff that's mediocre, you know, serviceable, but nothing all that interesting. So this was sent to me by Hype, so again a big thank you to him because he sent me a lot of stuff, and um, just really because it's a good Chinese domestic mask design, and it's got a voice diaphragm on it, which is great for a half face respirator. So, he sent me the mask with the two filters, Although the two filters were wrapped up in there, and then there was another packet of two filters. So these are basically the P100 sort of 3M style disc filters, and it does use the 3M style connector. So what I want to try and do <coughs> is see if I can get these filters off. Well, I know I can get them off, but um, the more interesting part, can I get 3M6035 filters onto the mask instead? So the 6035 filter is the 3M style filter I really like. It's the sort of good heaper style P3 one. This one actually looks like paper. My older um, 6035s are like fiberglass, but what I want to see is... Yep, it looks like it's going to work fine. Um, if I can get these on, and then, you know, have these style filters on, just because I trust them a bit more. So there we go. That's, that's gone on perfectly. Excellent. So yes, this is fully compatible with actual real 3M filters. Although, these in all honesty do look like quite good quality sort of Chinese domestic ones, you know, that are sort of 3M filter rip-off. So while the mask uses the 3M filter system, it isn't directly a rip-off as far as I can tell of a 3M mask. Because while there is a 3M mask of a voice diaphragm, it doesn't really look like this. So, straps are pretty simple. You have your neck straps that are adjustable, and again, they are a sort of 3M style one. So, obviously you put that on and do that up. I'm just going to take my glasses off a minute until I've put the mask on. And then, <clears throat> what you've got here is the same system as a lot of 3M masks, where the strap just goes through there to the head harness, so you can tighten it like that. Now, the great thing is, this head harness is adjustable at the front and rear, so if you find it's too big or too small for your head, you can adjust it pretty comfortably. So, all in all, a very good mask. So, <clears throat> apologies, I've got a bit of dust down here, I think, now, but... Um, Tuck the glasses on there, but as you can see, uh, I don't know if I can. Yep, there you go. <coughs> Using these 3M filters, you can do a pressure check a lot easier. So, if we go again, yeah, it's pretty much completely airtight, which is really impressive for a half face respirator. <coughs> when I do that negative pressure check, when you start breathing really hard a bit, the mask sort of folds in and lets in air there. But under normal circumstances, breathing through the filter that wouldn't happen. So, as you can probably hear, hopefully. It has got a voice diaphragm, and um, basically all this is is just a plastic disc um, between, you know, two plastic protective layers. And yeah, that seems to work really well. You know, it's just a simple voice diaphragm. It's nice to have a half face respirator with a voice diaphragm. So my glasses sit on top of this pretty all right. You know, they're not quite flush where they would be normally, but I can see through them fine, and they're not going to fall off. So that's good. And the XL valve is where you want it, right at the bottom, so your sweat and saliva drips out the mask. Now, with Corona around, you know, you might want to put a tissue over that, as we've said about in other videos, and that should be quite easy to do, because, yeah, there's a removable cover there, so you can just do the regular thing of put a bit of tissue or whatever uh, in there, and then snap that back on, and then you've got, like, a drip tray thing for sort of sanitary reasons. So, yeah. This is actually a very good domestic Chinese mask, so I'll just show you the um, thing, that's the packet. So STM series of dustproof and anti-toxic half mask, and this one is the STM50 <laughs> G3B, but basically we'll just call it the, the strong or STM50 really. Because when I was looking on Google, there's quite a few different variants of just with different letter numbers. And I don't know if some of the letters indicate colours, you know, um, or whatever. But yeah, this is a good mask. As you can hopefully hear, the voice diaphragm is very good for what it is. 
Um, so yeah, again, thanks for Hype for sending me these. Um, there's the contact details of the company, if that helps anybody. Um, I don't know if these turn up on AliExpress or not. I've seen other similar strong masks on AliExpress. But yeah, it's quite nice at least to, you know, have a Chinese master review that's pretty good for what it is and not just a direct copy, even if it has 3M elements, you know, uh, rather than it just being a pure 3M clone. And the nice thing is this is actually quite comfortable for a face respirator as well for what it is, you know, um, just because most of it is this sort of silicony sort of rubber that, again, probably wouldn't, you know, stand up to horrid chemicals, but... For just, you know, using it as an anti-corona mask or whatever, it's pretty damn good. So, there you go. Um, obviously, you know, your mileage might vary as always, but it's got, you know, the ne adjustable neck strap system, the adjustable, you know, head strap system there, and then you've got your adjustable sort of head headband skull cap type thing that um, means that, you know, if you've got a bigger or a smaller head, it should still fit you. And I have tested, you can put helmets on top with this and they don't seem to interfere with the mask at all. So yeah, overall uh, I'm really impressed with this. It is actually a pretty good, you know, product. And as you can see, it does pressurise pretty well as well. So, you know, there you go.